What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. It is the Showdown Series. That's right, it feels like a bit of a low promo week. You know, it's not a major promo, but the Showdown Series is here. Check out our Showdown Series campaign live in Ultimate Team. Celebrate football in competition with Showdown player SBCs that can upgrade depending on the outcome of real world fixtures. The following is available in Ultimate Team now. Daily Showdown SBCs. Rivalry re-release squad impacts. Icon SBCs. NWSL season countdown player objective. Log into Ultimate Team now for a free 85 plus single pack. The EA Sports team. And what we're going to do, guys, because uh, we have got best of impacts, is we're going to start with some player picks. Just to see what EA is saying. Obviously, Fantasy FC is no longer in. So those heroes are toast. Those special cards, those promo cards are toast. So let's just have a little look what we get. Do we get any promo cards? And what promo cards are here? From from the list I was told in stream today, it actually was going to be quite a, an extensive amount of promo cards in, which means the exchange, the exchange could be real valuable. However, yeah, that, I, I mean, I love that. Big 89 Casemiro, big boy. Boy, however, we're not getting many special cards here, which isn't to uh, and when I say not getting many special cards here, we're not getting any special cards here, no specials, not even one. However, we did also get an 85 plus pack from EA. I don't think I will see it, I will not. I've been grinding the draft, trying to get 126, which I've failed at miserably so far. We've got an 83 by 100 pack. 2 pretty 6 plus pack. And an insane amount of promo packs. I'm tempted to see what's in these. Uh, I'm sure we're going to need the fodder as well. So I'm going to rip it. I'm going to rip it. There's not even a promo card in there. Oh, there is. Three. Oh, there's not. Three informs. Wait, is best of not actually in packs? Best of Zarkaria, that's all I've got. Winter wildcard Zarkaria. Oh, that's tough. Right. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. With that, let's see what EA gave us. Nothing in FC Pro. Daily Showdown Challenge Completionist. Complete the Daily Showdown Challenge to earn pack rewards. 83 by 2, an 83 by 2, an 83 by... Okay, I'm seeing what's going on here. It's just an 83 by 2 every day. Beating it once through to seven times. And for the group reward, you get a Prime World Players Pack. The NWSL Countdown Completionist. Well, that's a hell of a lot of XP, isn't it, EA? Which you've now given to people when they don't need it anymore. Complete the objective once, twice, thrice, force, twice. Oh, hold on. Play three matches with Pickett, Fleming... And La Bonata. Oh, do you get... Oh, you actually get players here as well. Oh, that's interesting. So pick it. We can't even look at her, but pick it. Left back. Reasonable stats. Fleming, centre mid. Reasonable stats. La Bonata, centre mid. Reasonable stats. Then an 84 by 4 for the lot. And then an 84 by 5 for the lot. Okay. That's interesting. And then NWSL countdown. Play a game with three NWSL players. Play two games with three NWSL players. Repeatable once a day. It's a bit, it's a bit weird. What is NWSL countdown? I'm, I'm confused what it is. And then milestones, nothing. Let's have a little look then at the evolutions. You need, yeah, if you need the XP, it's great. Otherwise, the players could just be good anyway for uh, bother, you know. But it's, it's, worth, it's worthwhile doing either way. Uh, we've got Showdown Winner's Boost. Rarity is Showdown Plus. No other rating. And it gives one pace, one shooting, one dribbling. 
one passing, two defending, one physical. You, I mean, you don't mind that, do you? It's free. I don't have any. So any showdown winner, you might already have some showdown winners as well. You could put in a showdown winner's boost. Yeah, I, I was, I was going to say this should be repeatable, like maybe even five times or whatever, but then people will just put it on the same showdown winner each time, won't they? Although it doesn't become, it's no longer a showdown winner after it's been boosted. So yeah, this should be repeatable like five times. Um, that'd be quite good. Uh, so if you've got that McAllister, you're probably laughing at the moment. Let's have a look at the, oh, there was the best of. There was like 94 Har Harland in there. Um, right, we'll start with the players. We've got Bobby Clark and Akanji for Liverpool City this weekend. Um, Bobby Clark, four-star, four-star. And play centre mid, CDM and left wing. Well, reasonable. It's very well rounded. Great passing, reasonable dribbling, good good defending outside of defensive awareness, good physicals, good good shooting stats in general, reasonable pace, good passing, really good play styles. Finesse shot, ping pass plus, and uh, press proven plus. Relentless first touch, intercept, long ball, and incisive pass. That's pretty good. He's five segments: an eighty three, an eighty four, an eighty six, an eighty seven, and an eighty eight. That is absurd. And then Akanji, who's got ridiculous play styles. Block and intercept plus, relentless slide tackle jockey, first touch, aerial, long ball pass, and ping pass. Great passing as well. Good, good dribbling, good pace, good defending, good physical. He's mostly lengthy 6'2 with four-star weak foot. Of course, both of these have a chance of getting upgraded as well. Akanji's an 84, an 85, an 87, an 88. It's, it's just... It's just so expensive for fodder, unless it's really, really easy to get fodder. Because like this card looks like all right, right? And and let, let's even presume he wins, and then he goes to a ninety-one, and then you can put him in the Evo and make him a ninety-two. All of a sudden, this could be a card that you're looking at, and you're like, "Holy crap! This is like team of the season level level card." Yep, they're both eligible for the Evo. No, 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 they're not. Only the winner is eligible for the Evo. Now, if it's a draw and they both get upgraded by one, you can make the other one upgraded. You can make one of them upgraded by another one. Uh, same with the Kanji, right? If City win and the Kanji then goes to a 91 and then you can make him a 92, it's an elite level, elite level card, right? But with classic EA situation, they have priced these cards as if they are 92s, not as if they are 89s. Wait, did somebody just say Saka back in pack? So just after I bought him, which Saka is it? The one with the Playstyle Plus or not? If it's the one with the Playstyle Plus, I'm mudded. Yeah, it is because he's already dropped over 100,000 coins. Brilliant. So I, I, I bought Saka for 850k. And then EA released him in packs again, and he's now down 730k, and that's it. I've, I've either got to sell him now, or I'm just going to lose coins constantly. Right, we've got Paolo Dybala, Player of the Month. This card, I think, is brilliant. High-low work rates, four-star, four-star. He can play striker, centre-forward, right-mid, and right-wing, which is great. Shooting is great. Passing is great. Dribbling is insane. Physical is a bit meh. Pace is very good. Play styles are very good. Um, Traveller, finesse shot, plus, ping, pass. Uh you know, technical and first touch, which is good. I personally don't think flair, flair at all is very good, but um, this Dybala is an 85 with an inform and an 87. So, uh, I, I like, I, I think, you know, especially if you compare to the showdown cards, awesome. Uh, we've also got Hoyland, player of the month. Where is he? Why is Hoyland at the back? There we go. Uh, who now has, I, I think this is actually, even though his in-game stats are less than the uh, Future Stars Hoyland, this one's four-star, four-star of high, high work rates, whereas the other one is medium high. And I think this Hoyland's got better play styles. Uh, he's got great pace, great shooting, good dribbling, great physicals, reasonable passing in the right areas, and then has ping pass, power shot, power header, aerial plus, quick step plus, rapid and flair. I think it's a decent card. It's only one squad, which is nice. Uh, it's an 86 with an inform. I think it's worthwhile. I, I, I quite like it. In terms of upgrades, we have got 81 double. That's new, isn't it? What is it? A 
a squad full of 11 with five rares. I don't think that's better than the player picks. I'd rather just do the player picks. Um, the 85 double was now gone. No point me building the 84 by 5 because I won't be able to see it. The challenge is we've got the daily showdown challenge for a premium gold players pack. It needs to just be a bronze player EA, right? 11 players, 26 chem, 75 rated, 3 rares. Players from the same country, minimum 3. Clubs, minimum 4. I mean, it's, it's easy, but I would have expected it to be deep. As it usually is, but fair enough. The daily showdown challenge is there. And then what icon did we get? Desenio is there. Say hello to everyone's new best friend. They've been like that for six weeks. Have they? I just haven't been doing them. <laughs> shows, shows how much I've been engaged in the uh, challenges section. Jairzinho is here. Centurion's Jairzinho. Um Obviously a solid card, right? Nice play styles. Five star, four star. Can play striker. Good stats. 16 segments. Wow. Okay, EA think he's insane. They're, they're putting his loan as an 84-rated squad. An 85, two 86s, 387s, 388s, and 489s. I can't lie. I think that's too expensive. I would say that's like akin to like the Jinler SBC, where it's like, okay, obviously it's an insane card. But we are in March now. You know, team of the season will be next month. Not in a month, but it will be next month. Um, it will be in April. All, like, this card is probably not better than a whole bunch of cards you've already got in your club. And yeah, George Best is still available. And he's, he, like, for me, this, for me, this would be the priority, 100%. What's this George Best? 189, 388s, 487s, 386s. Make that four, sorry. And then an 85. I would 1 million percent go for Best over Jairzinho. Yeah, I, I, th I think that's, a, that's quite a wild price. Um, and then the Best of Impacts. Does it actually give us a breakdown of what's in there? Campaign re-release player items in the news where we can see it all. No, it's not. It just the the just takes us to the store, doesn't it? Um, which is a shame. It is a shame. Um, right, let's go on to uh, Footbin to have a little look at these. Uh, well, f first of all, the Evos actually, because I I will tell you what, guys. I think we'll start with the Evo. Actually, I think with this Evo, I like it. You've so far got Songer McAllister. Orboz, uh, Silva de Oliveira, Mudrik, and Purse available. But because it's showdown week, you can kind of like wait for a card that you really like, hope that they win, then get them upgraded again. And it's free. So it's a nice, it's just a nice plus one, right? It's just a nice plus one on the cards that you've already got. If you're a Forest fan, like this Sungair actually is a 90 rated. That's a really, really good card. A really good card. Um, then we've got these new, uh, these new American players or American women's league players. So we've got oh, Labon Labonta, four star, four star, first touch plus, power shot plus, cam CDM and center mid. You know what? She hasn't even been given that big of an upgrade. Four star, four star. Also has relentless press proven, flare slide attack, I anticipate an intercept. It, guys, for a free card, this is really cool. And it, do you know what it makes me think again? It just takes me back to game modes. Give us a game mode where this card is like, I mean, you could play her in the cup now. I, I assume the Friendly's Cup is there. It might not be anymore. The the um, the Fantasy FC Cup well, has so many promos, it's hard to remember. But um, this is a cool card. This is a cool card. It's not like a world beater. It's not getting in anybody's team over the infinite number of icons and stuff that they've already got. But it's a cool card with cool play styles and four-star, four-star, and it's free to get. 
not bad. A, a cup, you know, using Labonte in a cup would be very good. We've got Jesse Fleming, a centre mid, can also play right wing, left wing. She's got long ball pass plus, also four star, four star. A very reasonable boost for her. And then has finesse shot, incisive pass, ping pass, ticky tacker, technical press, proven and relentless. Great passing already. Good shooting, great dribbling, reasonable defending as well. Like for a person that would be playing the wing. I mean, I'd give her an engine. Great passing, very good dribbling, good pace, good shooting. I mean, that, that, that again is like another one of those fun cards, right? It's a fun card. Um, I would play her on the wing rather than at centre midfield. And then pick it at left back. Relentless plus, whipped pass plus, three star, four star. Jockey block intercept, rapid and quick step. Wow. That's a mad card. No balance, but otherwise insane dribbling. Great pace with the shadow. Great crossing, good short passing, great curve, not the best vision. Other than aggression, very good physical and decent shooting from range with decent positioning. That's, that's a mad card. Fair play. We've also got Dybala and Hoyland, guys. So Dybala player of the month, I think, is definitely worth, 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 worthwhile. Um, I would personally go with an engine on him. Insane dribbling, insane passing, very good shooting, good pace. Just, I, I, just, I just like this card a lot. I think the price is also very fair for the card that you get, which I don't say about this game very often these days. And Hoyland, I also think the, the price is very fair for the card that you get. Given the fact that it's 89 rated, is 96k on the market tradable, and I think is a worse card personally. I know some may disagree um, because of the little extra boost in stats. Not that much. It's mostly in passing, but not that much elsewhere. I think this Hoyland player of the month is, is good. And I think I'd be putting a Hawk or a Hunter on him. I'd start with a Hawk. Great pace, great shooting, great physical, good dribbling. Oh no, hold on, that's not the player of the month. I still would go hawk on him anyway. Um, great pace, great shooting, great physical, reasonable passing, all right dribbling, but four star, four star with power, sorry, aerial plus and quick step plus, power shot, power header, ping pass, rapid and flare. I just think that's a really cool card. And if you're a Man United fan, you're probably going to go for him as well, which is, uh, which is good. Um, we've then got, I don't want to look at these two just yet. I want to go and look at this Jairzinho first. Daily Showdown is upvoted call. Cool. Yeah, Jairzinho is downvoted, man. The 83 plus team of the week is back again. The 81 double upgrade is back and downvoted, and that's because the player pick exists. Dybala's upvoted. Hoyland's upvoted. Kanji is upvoted, and Clark is downvoted. And I, I genuinely agree with that, because I think, first of all, I think City are probably, like I'd say, even heavy favourites to win the game. I know Liverpool aren't bad. They're in the title race. They've got a lot of injury problems right now. Um, and uh, that might come to hurt them in this game. But I, I think Akanji is the better option. He's marginally cheaper as well. Not by much, mind you. Um, but yeah, for Jairzinho... I just don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. I'm so, like, if you guys do this SBC, I hope, I hope you enjoy playing with him. I really do. I don't think it's worth it. Favourites at Anfield? I, I, listen, guys, it's Manchester City, right? doesn't matter if it's Anfield or not. Liverpool have got a, a depleted team. They're struggling, right? Um, and, they, well, they're struggling for players. They're not struggling for results right now. Um, but, you know, they have got... Salah's just coming back from injury. Jota's injured. Nunes is just coming back from injury. Um... Canate got injured in the European game, just gone. They've, they've got, like, Allison's injured. Like, it literally does. But it, what, so, so you're telling me that Liverpool have never lost a game at Anfield before. We'll see, like, time will tell, right? Time will tell. And you're entitled to your opinion on it, as I'm entitled to mine. I think City are comfortable favourites to win the game. I think City have got a head of steam above them now. I think they've got their best players available, especially now with De Bruyne back. 
I, I think City are going to win the game. I think City are going to win the game. Um, if they don't, bomb. If you think Liverpool are going to win it, go, go and do this Bobby Clark showdown SBC. Because I, I actually think, I, I really like his play styles anyway. I think Ping Pass Plus is one of the most undervalued play styles in the game. I think Press Proven Plus is also brilliant. I think they've given him a wild boost, which is great to see. And he's got so many play styles, which is great to see, right? Relentless is awesome. First touch is good. Long ball pass is awesome. Incisive pass is good. Finesse shot is good. Intercept is very good. You can play this guy as a DM. You can play this guy as a box-to-box -box midfielder. I'd probably put a shadow on him and just play him in centre midfield. His passing is really nice. And then, like I say, if he gets the upgrade, which I don't think he will, but if he gets the upgrade, this guy will go to a 91, so he'll get plus two across the board everywhere. And you can then make him a 92, so he'll get another plus two in defending and plus one everywhere else, which is calm, right? And then a Kanji, much the same. I already think this Akanji, as he is, is a very useful card. Three star, four star, six foot two, with block and intercept plus, and otherwise brilliant play styles for a centre back. Like brilliant. He's got very good dribbling for a centre back and very good passing for a centre back. Even without an upgrade, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that this is a fair price for it without an upgrade, but even without an upgrade, this card's still super usable. So, so, so is Clark as well, to be fair, but like, you know, a kanji is like super usable. If a kanji goes up to a 91 and then you make him a 92, this card is, is honestly team of the year level. Like, it's that good. I think it's that good. With those play styles, with the stats that it will have, I think it's team of the year level. Um, so I, I personally would be focusing on a Kanji first and Clark second. But if you're a Liverpool fan or if you just generally think Liverpool are favourites to win the game, focus on Clark because it could be a humongous card if it gets all of the upgrades available, um, which, is, uh, which is cool. We've also had, guys, before we go back to the uh, game, because apparently the 50k store pack is very good, we've also had the road to the final upgrades. Tony Crow's got one pace. One shooting, one passing, one dribbling, two defending and two physical. That is a ridiculous card. That is a ridiculous card. Rafael Liao got one pace, one shooting, one passing, one dribbling, two defending, two physical. I mean, this, is, this card is a joke, isn't it? What a card this is. I'm going Maestro on him. Yep, that's me. That's me. What a card that is. We've got Joshua Kimmich up to a 91 now. Two pace they gave him. One shooting and passing, one dribbling and defending, two physical. Wow, they niced him. This SBC, man, I said it when it came out. This is going to be one of those ones that you'll look back on and be like, I wish I did that one. And I wonder if people are already doing that. Oh, this wasn't this. This was already there for the upgrade. Actually, this isn't a new upgrade. But they did give Kimmich two pace. But this upgrade was already there, wasn't it? Um, Pedri is now being upgraded. Oh no, that was already there as well. Donnarumma's up to a ninety-one. Qualified for the round. Of, nobody cares about goalkeepers, mind you. Martinez was already upgraded. Lukaku's been upgraded. I. This card is great. I think it was already upgraded anyway, wasn't it? A foot been messed up, have they? There's only like three that got an upgrade. Kimmich is an upgrade. Oh, I was, I was going to say. So they've just, they've messed up. So the upgrades were Cruz, Kimmich, and who else? Everyone who qualified got the upgrade. Oh, did they just put the thing in the first one instead of ignoring it and putting it into the second one? On a rumor. There's. Anyway. We'll, we'll do, I think we'll do a video. Once EA have got the proper upgrades out and Footbin have got their act together. <laughs> Um, we'll do a proper, uh, proper upgrade on that. Um, I, uh, I'm gutted about Bukayo Saka. His, his price is just going to crash hard now, isn't it? Um, apparently there's a good pack in store in promo packs. Is it this one? 50k for 200 FIFA points. Who's one encore player item from any campaign release prior to Showdown series? Not including heroes or icons, all items untradeable. Is it this one you're talking about? And then this one includes three rare golds, one consumer that grants a thousand XP. Don't ever spend money on that. 
30k pack, that's terrible. They're all terrible. That's terrible. Yeah, it must be that first one. Look at the odds. So an 87 plus rated player for 50%. Road to the knockout, 3.9. Road to the knockout, 2.1. Road to the knockout, 2.6. Barrel Blazers, 9%. Centurions, 8%. Triple Threat, 3.9. FC Pro, 7.3. Thunderstruck, 6.6. .6. Radioactive, 7.3. Dynasty, 7.4. Team of the Group Stage, 2.6. Team of the Group Stage, under 1%. And then another one. Winter Wildcard, 6.8%. Ice versus Ice and versus Fire Players. Team of the years are in here. Oh, that's interesting. Honorable mentions, road to the finals, future stars, fantasy FCs. Wow. Only one player, but yeah, that is that is solid. Let's see what we get. Fantasy FC. The Andre in it. Well, you get what you get. Don't get upset. Do you know why? Do you, do you know why I think they have done this pack? Even though it's untradeable, I think they realise that quite a lot of cards in this game are like just absurdly priced. People losing their mind over one percent. See, the, the thing is though, like what what is there is better than what has ever been there before. That's what I think. Anyway, guys, that is going to be the end for today. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.